The sun is already around 30% eclipsed at this point. We're taking off from Stornoway and we will be in the air very soon. Hopefully to see 98% eclipse and we'll be doing it on camera as well. Fantastic. Okay, in four minutes time here, and the sun is nearly completely eclipsed at this point and it's uh, just starting to get a little bit dark, especially in northern skies, you know. And you can just about see, even on the, um, the lens flare on this camera, you can see eclipse shaped flare things. And uh, it's starting to look a bit like, it's a bit eerie actually, it looks like it's getting dark even though it isn't. And we're just minutes away, I don't know how many minutes at this point, it's a matter of about two minutes or so before the uh, fullest eclipse from us will be reached. We're one of the first people to see it as well. Quite difficult when we got quite difficult when we got a separate audio recorder running at the same time as the video recorder. Uh, there it is. Trying to see it. The sun's still pretty bright, and it's uh, the glare on the uh, on the windows as well, which doesn't help. But you can see it almost full at this point. Almost full. I just have to be careful not to film it too much. Uh, just in case my uh, my camera has problems, but I don't think it will. I mean, look how dark it is in the cabin now, around us at this point. Very dark indeed. Almost night nightfall, uh, nightfall. The light's actually been turned on in the cockpit at this point. So that's how dark it's getting. Even though the sun's still very bright in the sky, there isn't much of it shining through. And we're just banking towards the right now. Good one, Alex. And there we are, we've got a prime shot of the sun at this point. And you can see totality almost being reached. We won't quite reach it. It's going to be around 98% here. nearly completely eclipsed at this point. We've got all our cameras on it. It's a beautiful sight. It's quite something. We're northwest of Stornoway. We're seeing it before anyone on land. Almost night time if you look towards the north. Around 98%. And it's really dark towards the north. Towards the south, still sunny. Orange sky. 
Uh, even though we've not managed to catch a total eclipse, it's still an awesome sight. Uh, and it will begin to get brighter again. beginning, it's beginning, beginning to um, reach the other side now. Quite incredible. The next eclipse here in the UK won't be seen until 2026 and you may remember the total eclipse that we had back in 1999 if you're old enough to remember I know I'm not uh, the next total eclipse over the UK will occur in the year 2090 as far as I know anyway I think I think it's the total one but there we are the sun appearing more again on the right hand side. Right now in the Faroe Islands it's probably a complete eclipse as we begin to turn ourselves back towards the, the uh, east and then eventually back towards the south uh, as we head for home. But that's what we came to see and it's beginning to get lighter again now. On the ground, hopefully, we've had people filming it too. Obviously, we saw it a little bit beforehand. But that's the eclipse fading now. It looks like the sun is at least 30% uh, out once more. Maybe a little less than that. It can be deceiving. Beautiful view outside, lots of cloudiness, but even with the clouds you can see it occurring. Um, you're watching the first. You're watching the first ever video from Space 13, our new channel, or Space Shuttle 13 as we like to call ourselves. It's a branch of Force 13, and Force 13 will be posting a satellite animation of this fantastic event uh, later on this evening, probably around the same time as this goes online. We're expecting to put it on around 6 p.m. once we get back home, once we return to base. But there we are, that was the eclipse, something that you won't see for many years in these skies. Obviously it will occur elsewhere around the world. Uh, we had one in the United States, was that last year or two years ago? We had one in Australia in 2014, I think. So they occur everywhere. Now we're here in the UK, it's going to be a long time before we see another one like this. And uh, fantastic stuff. I think we'll finish up here and we'll just do a little bit more recording before we uh, finish. But thanks for joining us and we hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we hope to, well we invite your videos as well. If you filmed the eclipse anywhere today on March 20th, 2015, please get in touch. We'd love to showcase it. We really would. Last look, just to show how complete the sun is now. There it is. It still is nearly uh, full, around 80% at least, I'd say. But yeah, I managed to get a 98. It all went dark around us. Beautiful stuff.
there was uh, a passenger reporting that he didn't see a thing. <laughs> oh, uh, he didn't have the right protection, unfortunately. You have to be really safe when filming these. We've had a solar lens on our camera. So that's why we managed to capture it without any damage. Um, obviously, I wasn't looking at it with the naked eye for too long. You're okay to glance at it, but not any more than that is running the risk. Obviously, the sun is so bright. Of course, we saw 91% totality at Force 13 HQ in Manchester. We didn't have a camera set up there. We may have had someone nearby, uh, hopefully, who caught it for us. Um, in London it was 84%, in the southwest it was around 85%, in Ireland it was around 87 to 90%, further north in Edinburgh probably around 93% or 94%, and over in Stornoway it would have been 97%, well we saw it probably nearly 98% where we were at this point. Uh, we're going to wrap things up now because I believe we've seen everything, so um, we're going to finish up here, thanks for watching. And uh, hopefully we'll get plenty of other Eclipse videos from our affiliates. That's all from us for now. We'll see you again very soon. Goodbye.